Then light up the sky. It's uh, travelling pretty well just behind those as the leader increases the tempo as they come up to the bend. Plain Vital getting up near the fence. King of Woos dropped right out with Indy Pacific. G Liberty Rise has got a task in front of it. And going around them from last is Medom. In the straight, Glory Land led for home. On the outside point comes at it. Plain Vital's got up near the rail. Barricade Beach struggling. Here comes Indy Pacific coming around their heels now. Getting off the fence and Romolo runs on as well. Indy Pacific. Pacific comes at point, they hit Glory Land. It's Glory Land on the inside. Point Indy Pacific went to the line. Oh, give it to Point. Point, and it wraps up a great day for the Cerise and White. Point from Indy Pacific, Glory Land. And then Romolo running on from Plain Vital. It's a photo, though. They've called for it in the last. Followed by Liberty Rise, King of Woo. Next home, Slick Talker, light up the sky. Then Luke's Gold, Medom and Barraki beats after the running of the last. He's in the big one, the Tag Touch Glenn. Perth Cup, but it looks like Point wins here for Grand Alana Williams, Glenn Smith in the saddle, of course, and guess what? That's Bob Peters and Sandra Peters again. And, and also blinkers on a grandson of Zabil. Uh, just no surprise there. It was an excellent performance and a good ride from Glenn Smith. A little bit something back there, Gareth. For G Smith, for yes. For G Smith. He thought he had the Perth Cup. I love to get his comments when we interview him to see if he thought he won because Jared Noski thought he'd lost the Perth Cup, but that was a great he, performance by point. He certainly did think he lost. He got off and said, he th I thought I won to Grant and Alana Williams, but uh, he gets a bit of redemption there in the last. Indy Pacific. It was a brilliant run. Uh, yeah, look, uh, I thought she was going to win and she loomed. She got a lovely ride from Paddy Carberry. The brakes came her way, fair enough, but it was a, a great performance. And Gareth also, Gloryland sticking yes. on from the front was another mighty performance into that breeze. So follow it. Uh, speaking to the strapper there during the run, he was settled and he was beautiful in the in the mounting yard. And then in the run, ran a really, really nice race. But uh, all credit to point here. And what a day for the Cerise and White. Four I was winners. Ask, I was asking the question. I said, I wonder if Bob Peters would come down and celebrate another victory. Here he is. We'll walk down here to the winner's circle and um, another winning performance from one of Bob and Sandra Peters' gallopers. And Point does the job third up this preparation. And Glenn Smith, he was second um, in the Perth Cup. And he goes one better right. here. And, Bob, you've done it again. Yeah, thank you. It's nice to uh, have another winner. It's one of your better days at the race. You've had a lot of great days, but this must be up there. Uh, it's always, yeah, always a good day, Perth Cup day. It's... Uh, We've had uh, probably uh, more wins in a, on a day and more stakes wins, but, uh, yeah, it's a good day. And uh, you must have been impressed by this horse today, third up this preparation, given a gem of a ride by G Smith. Yes, he was very strong and tough to the line today, which he wasn't last start, and uh, I thought he was a bit disappointing last start, but uh, he did it well today. Congratulations, another winner. It's been another big day for the Peters family. Enjoy. Yeah, thank you. Well done, Bob. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Peters, another victory um, to WA's leading owner and breeder and Glenn Smith after finishing second in the Cup. I think we all thought he won it with Neverland, who just went down once again. But G Smith, he's a very good rider. He's basically um, the second pick for the Peters camp behind Willie Pike. And Point does it nicely. Third up to win this prep, Mark. Yeah, great to see G Smith get a win, especially after that narrow defeat. Uh, that'll... That'll give him some happiness and some joy. Heading into the new year, getting the last winner at Ascot for 2016. So Glenn Smith just had a settling point as we speak, and then we'll catch up with him. Any eye catches out of that race for you, Mark? I really like Gloryland moving forward, Gareth. Uh, I think they've worked very hard on him. It was a nice run, and Indy Pacific, the, the eye-catching run of the race as well. Uh, but uh, all honours with the winner. As I mentioned, a, a, a grandson of Zabil with the blinkers yep. on. Now, that certainly helps. And Glenn Smith joins us now. Um, G Smith, uh, that was a good victory by point. You happy with that? Yeah, it was. He um, loomed up outside Steve. He got the nice run through and actually went to put the cue back in the rack a bit. And I had to really wind him up and get into him the last 100 and he uh, attacked the line good. That must have been a good sign for you because he's done that in the past, not hit the line probably as well as you would have wanted, but today he did. Yeah, maybe with the blinkers back on, then um, he was a little bit sharper. He travelled a lot better through the run, and, and just that last 50, he really knuckled down when that other horse got along beside him. So, um, no, it was a good win. What about the cup? I don't want to bring that up again, but did you think you'd won? Well, Jared was doing a bit of swearing, so I was thinking, oh, maybe. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd won, but she just had her head right up on the line, and unfortunately, uh, 23.99, I was in front, and 
24.01, I was in front again, but uh, that's the way it goes. Yeah, she's been a mighty horse and she performed well once again on this particular day. Yeah, she did, two seconds. It's just a pity she couldn't top it off with a win this year, but anyway, she might be next year. All right, mate. Enjoy back going, going back to Bunbury and we'll catch you again shortly, mate. No worries. Cheers, mate. There we go. Glenn Smith um, winning the last with point and he just misses out, of course, in the Tab Touch Perth Cup and with Neverland just going down to Star Exhibit. And, of course, Glenn Smith was the man that rode Star Exhibit in the ATA Stakes just last week. And he...